Tiffany. Welcome back to my channel. I have a small haul for you guys. I just want to show you a couple of things that I've purchased over the past month that have finally trickled their way in. The shipping has still been suspect. Um, if you're interested to see what I bought from eBay, DSW, and also H&M, stick so, around. So, I placed an H&M order, my last order, because I told you guys in my last video. By the way, hi, my name is Sabine. I am a blogger. I run a blog called Southern Chic Shopaholic, and this is my YouTube channel. I talk about fashion and mom life. I have a very active um, Instagram. You guys go follow me there. I'm going to have all my information linked below in the description box. Um, you can follow me at Southern Chic Shopaholic on Instagram. I also have a Poshmark. I have that linked. And I have every item that I can link that um, that you guys can go shop. And i like to know it. I'll link that below as well. So about a month ago, I placed my last H&M order because I am slowing up on buying summer things. Our summer is gone, as I mentioned before. Um, so I bought like two shirts and a couple of things. But for some reason, they split my order up and things are coming in pieces. I guess they're still having COVID issues, but the shipping is faster. Um, so I want to show those. I also purchased a couple of things from eBay. I do shop on eBay quite often, um, looking for specific things, though. And I was thinking that I was going to get this YSL fanny pack. It was vintage that I wanted to show y'all that I was watching. And I got caught up with work and I missed it. I hate when that happens like it was gorgeous it was pink i mean it was like red green it it was like all these different colors it was silk and it had saint laurent all over it it was vintage it had a gold chain the more i talk about it the more i just <sighs> when i looked at my phone and the notification was there that i missed the bid two hours ago like it'll have it ended like two hours ago i could have cried so I was like, there's no point in holding back the items because that's the reason why I didn't show them to you in previous videos. So I'm going to go ahead and show them to you now because I am going on a spending freeze. I'm um, not really spending much right now, waiting on fall to come around. And I'm not really buying fall clothes because it's so hot outside. So you're still going to see me shopping. I'm not saying that I'm ending all shopping because, of course, I have a couple of things to show you. But it won't be like huge hauls of things. It'll just be like small things from different places that I'm buying. So I want to get started and show you guys that because it's going to be a short video. It's not going to be long this week. The last video was very long for me. So I want to keep this one a little shorter. I do want to talk about the jewelry that I'm wearing, this shirt, and also my lipstick. This shirt is from Zara. I wanted to wear this shirt because I wanted to show you that you can shop at Zara if you are plus size. This is an XXL. I did do a video of me wearing the shirt. I'm just wearing it with some Bermuda shorts. Bermuda shorts that I got in Texas last year um, in Dillard's. Um, they were on super sale. I think I paid like $11 for them. And um, I really like them. They're comfortable to put on. I could have gotten a 16. This is an 18 if I wanted them to fit like a little closer, but they're fine. I just threw the shirt on with those and then put on some suede sandals with the PVC um, toe. And I got those from Who What Where a couple of years ago. So, But I will link some that are going to be featured. Well, they're not going to be featured in my video. They're going to show you that I purchased from DSW in the super sale they had a couple of weeks ago. That I did show on my Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, you should. I post um, every sale that I'm shopping. I share it with my followers. So go follow me there if you are looking for sales just like me. So um, these earrings I got from... I did more color with my makeup. I really like it. This I used um, a Juvia's Place blush palette for my eyeshadow. My lipstick is my favorite liner. It's by Minty Cosmetics and then Foxy. If you want to support a black-owned brand, um, check, check out Minty Cosmetics. It's a cosmetics brand, and it's black-owned. Please don't judge my nails. I'm getting them done tomorrow. Um, but yeah, this is the lip liner. And then the lipstick I'm using is MAC Relentless Red, but it's not really a red. It's like an orangey color lipstick. And so, but for the base, I use Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. I don't know if you can see this. Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. Um, it's the Pillow Talk Matte Revolution lipstick and the pillow talk lip cheat liner and i wanted to, the reason why i use this is i wanted to make this like a terracotta color 
and tone down the reddish orangey color in it so i think i achieved that sometimes you got to blend your lipsticks to get the color that you're looking for and i probably have the same color somewhere in my drawer i just want to look for it and sometimes i just feel like i want to be creative so i just start mixing these earrings are baba bar they're at target they're available now because i purchased them twice because i think my daughter was playing with one of them and lost it so i had to buy them again they're just pearls going all the way around in a hoop they're really cute this necklace is from baba bar also i'm really i love gold jewelry i don't really wear silver that much even though i do wear silver jewelry but i love gold and i cuban link necklaces and thick gold chunky necklaces are really in this year and I purchased another one off of Amazon, but I'm waiting to get that one. And so this is, because I want to layer them. This one's shorter and it has a little, it reminds me of like Juicy Couture jewelry back in the day. And it has like a little heart on it. And it's really cute. And I've had it for like a year and it hasn't faded. Um, my bracelet, this one is from Express. And this one is a bracelet that I made. It just has fancy on it here. And it has gold beads. Um... I sell these in my Etsy shop. If you want to purchase one, just let me know. And I do customize them um, for you. This watch is skaking. And I guess that's it. So, yeah. The shirt is from Zara. Um, it's in a XXL. And it fits me very roomy. Um, I could have gotten extra large. But my size in Zara is an XXL. So, don't shun away from shopping at Zara. Um, because... We can wear clothes there. Um, I'm a true 18, 16, 18. Um, and I shop there often. Sometimes the pricing can be a little ridiculous, but I still love the style aesthetic and I love Zara. Especially if you are a fashion junkie like me, you watch the runway, Zara will dupe anything. And it looks great. Their styling sometimes is questionable, but most of the time it looks really, really cute. So I like shopping there. Um, and so that's all with the shirt. Next, I want to talk about this stuff I got in my haul. I have two things from H&M. The first thing is this top. This top is really cute. It's a linen, and it's a red. It's a true red, like an orangey red. And it has a sweetheart neckline with ruching in the front, and it fits close to the body. I wanted to get a couple of shirts just to wear with jeans that are, that are no fuss. And this one turned out to be just that. I think it was $19.99 or maybe it was $17. I got it in an XXL and it fits me perfectly. So H&M sizing is questionable. Um, sometimes the XXL swallows me and sometimes it fits exact. A one inch smaller and this would have been too tight. But it fits really, really cute and I like it. I put it on. I was like, man, I, could, I should wear that in the video. But I committed to the Zara shirt. So wanted to see that through. But this was really cute. And then I got it the same type shirt but just in another print they had a matching skirt with this and i started to get the skirt but i've od'd on skirts and dresses so i'm stopping buying skirts and dresses especially some skirts and dresses because i'm not going anywhere i'm in the house the kids are homeschooling so no working or working from home no actually going out to work i go to meetings sometimes but it's not enough to justify buying another skirt so i just purchased the top it's in this pretty print with this peachy color and dark green and purple it's so pretty the sleeves are exaggerated it's a silky material and if you look closely it has like um swiss dots like a swiss dot print i really really like this shirt this would have been cute with these earrings and this necklace as well in this haul but i've decided to go with the shirt i have on i got this one in an xxl as well and i'm gonna show you how this one looks and you also can see how the other one looks H&M, hands down, they took for the 99, 2000, for the two, 2019, 2020, I got to like, I mean, they are killing it. And I went through the site the other day um, to, I had like a coupon because the shipping was horrible. So they sent me all these coupons and stuff like that and rebates, I mean, and rewards and stuff. And so I went on the site to look for something, and they are killing it for fall as well. They had several um, sweater sets with the um, tank top sweater with the matching cardigan and skirt. Last fall, I remember they were killing it. I got a lot of stuff from there. And this fall, it's no different. They have their foot on your neck right now. Everybody needs to look out for H&M because H&M is like 
everything. Like I was scrolling and saving stuff to my favorites. So I know that's going to be one of the places that I shop at for fall. I'm so excited. I saw a lot of cute things. They have a lot of like um, jogger sets, matching top and bottom sweatshirts, sweatpants. They have a lot of things leaning towards... Um, what's the word loungewear because they know that most people are going to be in because most schools are i know my kids aren't, my daughter's not going back to school and i know most schools are not starting school this fall they're trying to see how things go so a lot of people are going to be working from home and um so they have a lot of loungewear so go check out h&m like i've been telling y'all for the past few months i have a visitor my same visitor that comes every video she wants to say hello hello she has her hair done today. <laughs> so anyway, um, DIY life hack. Make eggs with slime. Continue talking. She made me sunny side up eggs with slime. So, welcome to my life. So anyway, so that's the things that I got from h and I'm going to talk about eBay really quick and then I'll get to DSW. So eBay, I go on eBay to look for random things. I was looking for some Gucci sandals. Um, I bought a pair a few years ago that I showed in my how to shop on eBay video. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. I bought some from there then, and they were like um, jean material, denim material. They were blue and they had the Gucci print and they were just mules with a small heel. I wanted some more, but I couldn't find any. And then I was like, I wanted some either some Chloe sandals or some kind of designer sandal, but I didn't know. So I was like, let me see what Prada has. And I found these that are brand new. Look at the bottom. That's what I'm saying. Don't sleep on eBay. Do not sleep on it. I always find gems on eBay. I have eBay searches in the video. I told, I talked about how I shop on eBay, what my searches look like, my strategy for shopping eBay. So if you want to, if you're intimidated about shopping on eBay and you want to learn how to shop, please check out that video because I find so many gems on eBay. But these are Prada sandals, as you can see, and they have the Prada symbol and they're just a kitten heel and they were like practically brand new. Look. I think they try them on like they're new they are super cute they are like the neoprene fabric that matches my Prada bag I had a Prada bag from there when all the rave like Prada nylon hit I took my behind to eBay and I searched for a vintage Prada nylon and I got a Prada nylon bag it's featured all my gems from eBay are featured in that video so please go check out that video but yeah these match my bag and they just have Prada there and I got these in a size 40 and they are super cute. I haven't worn them yet because I was waiting to show you guys these in the YSL bum bag. <sighs> Lord, I don't know why I brought that up again, but yeah. So never worn these, love these. I can't wait to wear these. These will be cute with jeans, skirts. I picture myself wearing these with like cut off jeans and a t-shirt, just like, mm, I don't care, but then I do. But you think I have on plain black sandals, but they're really proud of sandals. I know, but you don't. That's the kind of vibe, <laughs> like not loud designer, but silent designer. Um, love these. You wouldn't be able to know they were Prada unless you just glanced at the, they're made in Italy. I mean, they're per, look, look at that. Look at that. They're perfect. And I paid $70 for these, 70. So I wear designer things, but I wear discount designer i buy pre-loved i shop ebay i scour bestier collective i trade z i don't ever buy regular price why there's no reason to um so these are bomb the next thing i got is i oh i have pinterest as well that's going to be linked below as well i have several boards on pinterest i have several pins of things that inspire me and i saw one outfit with this girl had on a men's denim shirt and then she had like a a Canadian tuxedo which is like a denim top and denim pants she had a men's denim shirt and then she had jeans on and the, the two denims were different so I was looking for a men's polo denim shirt and I found one on eBay and I wanted one with the red horse and it's huge but what I'm gonna do is um I don't know if y'all know like oversized Oxford shirts are really really in so I had two that everybody was wearing. Um, I could never get one of my size. They had a white one and they also had a pink one. 
that everybody was raving about um, that was shorter in the front and longer in the back and then like I had a long train so I figured that I can do this like that I can front tuck the front and then leave the back long wear dark denim jeans and some heels or some sneakers and I'm gonna put a picture of the look that I want to emulate here and so I got this from eBay it was worn before but I'm gonna put it in the cleaners before I wear it I washed it but I want it in the cleaners just to get like the denim with the nice crease in the sleeves and get it ironed and pressed really good. I got it in an XXL because I wanted it oversized and it is oversized. Like it could be a dress on me, but I really like it. And I paid $24 for it, which was great because like regular price, these shirts are like $90 and some people were selling them on eBay for 90 So that's all the things that I got from eBay. Like I said, if you want tips on shopping eBay or you need to know um, how to shop on eBay, just check out my how to shop on eBay video. I talk about eBay a lot. I think eventually, um, just because I shop, I go with the flow shop. I don't have a strategy to shopping. Um, I'll post things as I buy them on eBay. I don't shop that regular on there to post eBay hauls monthly, but every chance I get, I'm going to talk about eBay because a lot of people are sleeping on eBay and a lot, you're missing a lot of gems from eBay. Trust me. I bought several designer bags from eBay. I bought several designer shoes. The things were authenticated. eBay is legit don't let ebay pass you by okay <laughs> so the next thing is that i posted on my um instagram as well you should be following me there at southern cheek southern cheek shopaholic wrong side um is dsw had a sale about a month ago first of all i'm a regular dsw shopper and i've never had to wait so long for an order um it's probably due to covid I placed this order in July, July 12th. I know because I was on the phone with customer service all day today talking about it. I picked it up a week ago and three of the items are available and one wasn't. I bought four pair of shoes from DSW, all name brand shoes, and I paid $54 for them. Two pair were Steve Madden, one pair was Jessica Simpson, and the other pair was J-Lo. Four, one, two, three, four. They had 60% off all clearance. I posted it on my um, Instagram feed and also on my page. And I think I talked about it because I thought I got away with murder. Then it feel like when you get a sale, when you see a sale or come up on a sale and you buy something, you feel like you stole it. Literally, that's how I felt like four pairs of shoes. These are seventy eight dollars shoes and I got all of them for fifty four dollars. It was everything. And you could double stack coupons at DSW also. The first pair are by JLo. These are a nine. They're Inez and yellow multi. These are $14.99. I'm going to put screenshots. I went on the website and found all of them. Some of them are not on sale as cheap as what I paid because it took forever for me to get my order and I couldn't post the video. So I'm so sorry. But um, they do have a coupon right now and I'll post all the shoes that I can find here. These are still on sale. These are $14.99. And they were regular $49.98. And I got them for $14.99. And they are a leopard. I meant snake print sandal. Not leopard print and not mule. Sorry. Jeans, my denim um, tuxedo that I plan on wearing. Jean shorts, dresses. This skirt right here. And these would be everything. And like a white t-shirt. Everything. Love those. The next pair is by Steve Madden. I wanted these forever, and I was waiting on them to go on sale, and they finally did. These are $14.99 as well. These are regular $79 or $69. They're the Moline Multi. I got these in an eight and a half. I'm between an eight and a half and a nine. I thought these were so cute. They're snake print, and they're different color state print. They have the pink, which is my favorite color, and the green, and then they have a darker green. They have that smaller heel that you can walk in all day long. I tried them on the other day, and I love them. And yeah, this is the other pair that I got. These were $14.99 as well. The third pair I don't actually have right now because that's the pair that I call customer service about three times today. They're the Aaron, I remember it by heart, um, from Steve Madden. Right now they're on sale for $49. I paid $14.99 for them as well. Um, I've been wanting them forever. So when I saw them, they were in the sale. I was elated. Um, I think you can use coupons to get them now, um, and you might can scour the um, internet for a, another um, coupon off clearance. I don't know, 
but at the time that I purchased them, I um, paid $14.99. I can't wait to get them. I love them. I wanted these last year, but I couldn't. I didn't want to part with the $70. So just waiting around and I got them. So whenever they come in, I'll show them in another haul. But these are the shoes that I wanted and I got. Kind of similar to the ones that I had on with this shirt um, and the little try on. But the ones I had on with the shirt were a block heel. And these were like my candies dream. I talked about candies in my other video. I love candies as a, as a teenager. So these reminisce, take me back to the 90s. So they would look good with any of those dresses that I got from Cushiony. That was like the vibe that I want to go on, like a real 90s vibe. So the slip dress and then those would be like everything. So I have one more pair to show y'all. And I think this is like my favorite pair. They're by Jessica Simpson. They're in the nine and they're called the Pink Combo. These are on sale too, but I don't think they're $14.99. I got all of these for like $14 or $16 when I bought them. But I think now, whoops, let me see how much they are. I think it now, um, they don't have anything on there. That's weird. They don't have a price. Oh, well. They're these. So they are a block heel. The heels maybe three inches. Watercolor print. These tie around your ankle. They're crisscross around your toes. They are everything. I got these in a nine. I tried them on the other day and I was like, these are like sexy shoes. They're very comfortable. I picture wearing these with jeans, taking the tie and tying it around my jeans. So I think I'm going to, the next video I'm going to do next week is I'm going to style these shoes with different outfits. Um, and I'm going to show y'all how I would wear these shoes um, in my next video. So I'm going to, I would take jeans, skinny jeans. And what I would do is just tie the tie around my jeans and tie it up it's really cute um and it accentuates if you're hippie or you know it accentuates your hips and your shape um i don't know if you know that but the, your shoes also play into how your body um proportion looks i'm doing all with it <laughs> how your body proportion looks so make sure you pay attention to that when you're picking out shoes for your outfit and i'll probably talk about that next week when i style these in a video but i love these they have pink, yellow, green, blue, all pastel colors, a very summer vibe, a ballerina vibe, a watercolor ballerina vibe. But I'm going to street them up because I'm going to wear like jeans and like a band tee or something like that. So, yeah, these were 16 as well. So that is my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I did want to say something about the Nordstrom sale. Um, I was able to shop it last week. Or this week, I can't really remember. Everything's running together. And what I bought, zero. The stuff is still in my cart. And when I went to check my cart the other day, a couple of items that sold out. A lot of stuff is sold out. When I when I went into shop a sale and I went to my wish list with all the stuff that I had saved that I featured in the video last week, over 60% of that was sold out. Which really put me in a mood. Um, and so I wasn't motivated to shop. So I still have a three things in my cart um the dylan versace dylan blue the um chinese laundry like 70s heels that i want to wear with jeans so bad it would be so cute and that's it the uggs for my daughter sold out everything that i have for my daughter sold out all the nike stuff i had sold out gone even before i got a chance to shop so i knew cover was going to have an effect on the sale and now we're seeing that it really does i don't know if any of the influencers are actually talking about that but i just wanted to tell y'all that that it's real like i figured that it was gonna have some kind of impact and it did and i just want to be honest and transparent about the sale i did have a couple of things but i haven't bought anything they're still sitting in my car i'm not really motivated to buy anything right now probably because we can't go outside still so it's kind of like about stuff just to look at it like i'm over that like the first couple of months that was cool and it kind of got your mojo going but then after that it's like i'm still buying stuff to look at it <sighs> so is life right but yeah, so um, I do have stuff saved. I probably will purchase it because that Dylan Blue is a steal. You get 3.4 ounces in one bottle and then 1.7 ounces in the other. And for $62, that is like a steal. So probably when I get off this um, this video, I'm going to go buy that. The more I talk about it, the more I'm like, girl, are you crazy? 
So I'll probably go check out and get that, but that's about it. I'm over the sale, over COVID, over it all. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. In the next video, I'm going to style the shoes that were featured in this video. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to do those for you. I'm going to add more styling to my channel. But I just wanted to show you all these items, especially the H&M shirts. They were so cute that I wanted you to go out and buy. I will tag some more items on eBay. I know the, the items that I bought. And that's what I like about eBay, too. Everything is one of one. It's like a huge sale. Like a like a vintage shop without the smell. I can't deal with smells. So vintage shopping and thrift store shopping doesn't really work out for me because I can't take the smell. I don't know, I have a weak stomach. And different smells bother me. I'm just weird like that. But eBay, you can lay in your bed, on your couch. You can be in the back of the car while somebody is driving a passenger seat while your man is driving. You can be scrolling through, seeing what you want to buy. And saving it to your watch list and coming back and checking on it's the best thing ever I'm like an eBay advocate um I've been shopping eBay forever um and yeah I suggest I'm gonna tag I'm gonna look for different types of designer sandals and I'll tag them and I like to know it as well that you should take a look at from eBay and also a couple of like different shirts like the ones that I purchased um, the one the jean shirt that I purchased to wear with my jeans for my Canadian tuxedo This video has gone longer than expected as always But I want to thank you guys for coming to my channel. I hope everyone has a great day and I'll talk to you guys later Bye